And we wanted to give you an inside look on how NOAA hunts for these powerful storms from well up above. Fox weather correspondent Brandi Campbell is in Miami with a first-hand look at what happens on board of a Hurricane Hunter aircraft. Good morning, Brandi. Good morning, Britta. Good morning, Craig. Now, guys, believe it or not, the Hurricane Hunters, they started off as a barroom dare back in 1943. This was between two Army Air Corps pilots daring each other to actually fly through a storm. Well, now we've seen it transform today into an operation, getting more information on these storms before they hit land to better warn people. While some of you may have rode out a storm, could you imagine being mid-air inside of one? From day to day and flight to flight, they could vary from the worst rickety old roller coaster you've ever been on uh, to just like going down a slightly bumpy dirt road. Christopher Wood pilots the P-3 aircrafts. This one named Kermit is one of two operated by NOAA. The Air Force Reserve has 10 C-130s as well. The Chief Aerial Reconnaissance at the National Hurricane Center could send multiple Hurricane Hunter aircrafts into storms to get data to better forecast storm intensity and track. NOAA engineer Nick Underwood gave us a tour of the P-3. So it's a flying research laboratory. We've got three radar systems on board, one in the nose, one in that M&M looking fairing on the bottom of the plane, and then one in the radome sticking off the back. Flying at about 10,000 feet, a typical mission lasts eight hours or more with about 15 crew members. Uh, this station is where we'll launch instruments out of the aircraft. And so typically an operator like myself will sit here and as we're flying through the storm, we're launching drop sons, effectively a weather balloon in reverse. And so we'll drop these out of the aircraft. They have a parachute that deploys, and as they're floating down, they're collecting temperature, pressure, humidity, wind speed, and wind direction data. Data is sent in real time to the National Hurricane Center into forecast models. We made our way through all the workspaces to the flight station where the pilot and engineer work. Going into his eighth season, I had to get Nick's take on what the ride is like. There's a lot of vibration. You can get tossed around pretty good. There's wind and rain slapping against all of the windows. Once you get in the eye of the storm, it's calm again, so you get a little reprieve, but then you have to go right back out through the nastiness. And the same goes for the crew of about five on the C-130. And our partners at the Air Force uh, 53rd Weather Reconnaissance Squadron have their C-130s. And so they do a lot of the same mission that this aircraft does. We just have a little bit more research capability than they do with our extra radar systems and things like that. Meanwhile, NOAA's G-4 soars up to 45,000 feet going above and around storms, releasing drop sounds, collecting details of the atmosphere in and around storms. So what would hurricane season be like without these aircrafts? Pilot Wood says data from these flights increased forecast has by 10 to 20 percent. When you're making the decisions whether you're going to evacuate your home, uh, if you need to go and you know buy supplies and stock up, 10 to 20 percent is a really large margin. It's really important for you to make those decisions. So without these aircraft, we would we would be much more uncertain on what the storms are going to do. And they continue to work on new ways to get better data. Uh, we have new drop zones that are able to stay aloft a little, a little bit longer, collect a little bit more data. We are actively working to uh, test and develop a variety of different drones that will be able to collect information in some of the boundary layers that are unsafe for uh, manned aircraft to actually fly. All right, now, while we are expecting an active hurricane season, you know, this summer going into the fall, the hurricane hunters are telling me it's going to be business as usual for their teams, and they are ready for what's to come.